morning today i will explain regarding uh, sliding boom if main electrical lifting barrier failed then we have to see alternative arrangement that alternative arrangement we are providing sliding boom how it can be operated sliding boom how interlocking is achieved that is also i will explain now now first uh, after the gate So in this position, uh, gateman unable to close the gate. Gateman is unable to close the gate. That uh, it may be due to power failure or it may be technical problem. Is unable to close the gate. Then one alternative arrangement we are provided to close the gate and to take up the signal. That is we call it as a sliding gate. You can see sliding boom here. Okay, one sliding boom side of the road and uh, another sliding boom uh, other side of the road also. One more sliding move also provided. So how it can be operated interlocking? Also we can see here. From here, so this is the sliding boom interlocking arrangement. Okay, here we are uh, pulling the sliding boom and we are inserting here. Then the power. So this is the arrangement. You can see here. So this is the final key we are taking to the gate lodge. So to take up this key, you can see here this uh, lock bolt, this uh, E-type lock lock bolt. This is the lock bolt, E-type lock lock bolt. It cannot move why? Because uh, this E-type lock lock bolt it is having notch inside that notch. One more perpendicular key lock bolt is engaged here. That's why this key cannot be operated. Okay. So now we will see how it can be operated, how the interlocking is achieved with the sliding boom. Now you see the sliding boom arrangement. Come here. Open the cover. So you can see here this sliding boom. It is having handle, and one E-type lock is there with chain. Okay. So easily one person can pull the gate. It is a very lightweight, and it can be pulled. Pull it up. One person can pull like this. Now you can see this uh, sliding boom we are bringing here. We are keeping here. In this slot, it can be inserted. First, it can be inserted in this slot. Okay. Insert it properly. You can see here. This is the arrangement. Then. Chain key, you have to insert here. Then you see here, bottom side, this lock bolt going to outside. Okay, notch se, a lock, chabi ka lock bolt se bahar a gaya. Then only you can operate this key. The key can be taken outside. Okay, so once it is taken outside, you can see here how it is locking. Okay, you can see top key. This sliding boom key also it is locked here. It can you you focus here. It can be locked here. This key cannot be taken here. Perpendicular plunger is obstructing. Then uh, to pull the sliding boom also, you can see here. You can see here. This is also here. It will be obstructed. That means sliding boom also here. It is locked condition. And this key also chain with key also it is locked condition. We are taking one key here from here. Okay, this key can be taken after locking this sliding boom. In the same way, the other side of the road also, we are taking one more sliding boom. I pull this control. I have to focus. Just see, move the control. We are inserting, and it is also having a chain, chain with the key. This key we are inserting here. Inserting here. Then from here also we are taking one more key here. That means so, 
two slides, sliding move. We are getting two ETA blocks. So these two ETA blocks we are going to take a gate lot. There, uh, three-way system will be there. These two keys will be inserted in the thumb. I will show. Pass this no problem. Here, in the gate lot G. Okay, you can see here. This is the three-way key system. So this is the final key. This key can be inserted in the EKT. Okay, this key cannot be taken outside. If you want to take this key outside, you have to bring two E-type locks from each sliding boom, one E-type lock. That E-type lock will be inserted here. You can see here, lock bolt. Whenever you are turning this one, this will be free. One sliding boom, chabi, we are keeping here. And one more sliding boom, other side of the road also, we are taking this one. And we are inserted here. Then turn this one here. Completely, it is cleared. Then only this uh, bottom key can be operated. This key can be taken. Once this key is taken, these two keys cannot be sliding boom keys cannot be taken outside. Okay, that means sliding booms are locked. This condition. Finally, we are getting one key. This key is inserted in the HKT. So this key is inserted here, HKT. With this one relay, we are picking up. That relay contact we are using in the signaling circuit parallelly. Okay. So by this way, we are achieving the sliding boom interlocking in the LC gates. Thank you.